I know this kind of thing is probably pretty subjective, but I would say last week was the biggest farming trade show week of the year. With both the World Ag Expo going on in California and the National Farm Machinery Show going on in Kentucky. And we had teams at both sites doing as much coverage as possible, looking at the latest innovations as well as sitting in on the first ever Farm Bill listening session with members of Congress. My name is Ryan Tips. I'm Managing Editor for Ag Daily. And we're going to start this video off with something a little bit contentious, talking about horse slaughter. And there's a new bill in Colorado that's addressing it. The bill, originally known as the Prohibit Equine Slaughter for Human Consumption Bill, was introduced in January and aims to keep horses out of slaughterhouses, making it illegal for people to sell horses at auction for slaughter. The initial proposed bill was stripped down quite a bit and turned into more of a transportation measure, but it did get out of Colorado's Senate committee and onto the full Senate floor. Essentially, the new watered-down version of this bill puts a lot tighter restrictions on when you want to transport 20 or more horses to slaughter. We'll have to see how it all plays out. Aerial gunning is now underway on national forest land in New Mexico in an effort to reduce populations of loose cattle in the area. This is supposedly being done for public safety and to help protect endangered species and natural habitat. In response to the announcement, the New Mexico Cattle Growers Association has joined up with the animal rights group Humane Farming Association in a legal bid to get a temporary restraining order put in place. What's really a kicker is that the National Forest Service last year had promised these groups that they would give 75 days notice before taking this kind of action. However, they literally only gave about seven days notice in this case. The FDA has announced draft recommendations related to plant-based foods that are marketed and sold as milk alternatives. The agency recommends that a plant-based milk alternative product that includes the term milk in its name, such as soy milk or almond milk, and that has a nutrient composition that is different than milk, include a voluntary nutrient statement that conveys how the product compares with milk. For example, the label could say, quote, contains lower amounts of vitamin D and calcium than milk. Dairy stakeholders are calling this a step in the right direction, but there is still a big push for the Dairy Pride Act to solidify these kind of standards in place. A recent study on calves has shown that interaction with humans and other calves, even for as little as five minutes, can have very positive effects on them. Because studies have already shown that calves seek out human contact, researchers from the University of Florida set out to understand how the human-animal relationship might impact certain behaviors identified as signs of stress or frustration. After analyzing various video recordings, the researchers concluded that this kind of interaction has an impact on calf well-being, including improving calmness. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of New Ground. Can you believe that we're only a couple weeks away from spring? Things will be blooming before you know it. Stay safe and take care.